shares of AMC turning negative in late day trading. It's been a very volatile day of trading for that company. The company reported a smaller loss than expected. Revenue came in above forecast. CEO Adam Aaron was on Squawk on the Street earlier today addressing how bearish analysts have viewed the stock. Our focus is on building this company, taking it forward, improving its performance. That's exactly what we've done. Uh, uh, some people think heroically over the past year, and the same team that has paid attention to driving this company through, improving its fortunes going forward, is the same team that's going to take it forward from, from now. How the share price reacts to all that, we're all going to find out. We're all going to find out together. All right. Well, Kinecos Associates founder Jim Chanos told Squawk Box that based on box office numbers, he isn't convinced that AMC can be profitable. You can kind of run through the numbers. If they are running down 50 to 60 percent, they're going to be doing somewhere around two and a half billion, um, possibly even less in revenues on a run rate basis. And there's just no way they can be profitable. Yeah, so there's a lot of skepticism. There's definitely a bull bear debate to be had around this, Mike. I know you and I were talking about it a little bit earlier today on Squawk on the Street, but the heavy lift for a company that is basically reimagining, reinventing itself when it wasn't necessarily profitable when we saw right. peak record box office numbers before the pandemic. Exactly. More like a gorilla bear uh, <laughs> debate, I think, right, is what's <laughs> going on with AMC. Yes, that's right. But only a couple of years in the past five has have they really turned a bottom line profit. So it was always a challenge. Um, kind of capital structure. Uh, it was always a business that was a little bit, uh, you know, pressured by what's going on in the world. So we've known for a while that the stock is its own phenomenon. Uh, and you see today a little bit of a collision with the business realities and where the stock was perched, you know, at this $17, $18 billion market cap level with a bunch of debt. Now, they have raised a lot of money. They yeah. do have what it, they need. To, to tough it out for quite some time. So it's not as if this is a life or death moment uh, for the company as it was, you know, less than a year ago. But it's sort of like, what are you, what are you buying when you own a piece of this company where there's a massive dilution and really no clear path uh, to longer-term viability or, or profitability, certainly. Charlie, how do you know when one of these stocks has come back to earth, come back to trading on the fundamentals again? Because I guess it happened to one of your stocks in in Viacom CBS as well and uh, got squeezed up and then uh, settled back down. Are you confident that's back to, to trading on the fundamentals? Well, you have to analyze what a company is worth. I mean, that's fundamentally what value investors do is they compare the price of a stock to its intrinsic value. And that's not simple to calculate, but in some cases it is simple to see that a stock is trading way above its intrinsic value. And unfortunately, AMC is still a long way from its intrinsic value this is the classic business where an extra person in the back row is a 100% margin business, and they're not having any of those people in the back row. They're going to have 50% of the people that they had pre-pandemic. So unlike Viacom, which is trading at today about nine times earnings, uh, unfortunately, AMC is just way above its intrinsic value. 